Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Super Zoma God Barbecue. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. This is me, Biggie Dude. What's up? <laughs> And we're already getting TKS99 saying, hello, Mick Hype. <laughs> that was the possibly the most awesome thing I have ever heard. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, right. So thank you, first of all, for coming on, Biggie. It's been awesome for just you being so open with everything. Well, thanks for asking, buddy. And, and, Obviously, if you haven't already guessed from the fact it says Q&A in the big letters above on Twitch, we are doing a Q&A, open Q&A, so ask anything you want to, unless it's hugely personal. Those may not be answered. Um, and But yeah. you can still ask, I just might not answer them. <laughs> yeah. The other thing is, is this, this is being recorded and this is going to go on YouTube, so yeah, just knock yourselves out. It's going to be an awesome time, and yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, or you've never subscribed before, obviously, first of all, subscribe to Biggie Dude because he creates awesome videos and he's well worth the 41,000, is it now? Uh, I just hit 44,000 today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> in, I know. In which case, the 44,000 people he has on the stream uh, who basically constantly subscribe to him. So if you don't aren't one of those 44,000 people, you want to subscribe to him now and like all his videos. Um, if you're not subscribed to me, it'd be wicked awesome if you could just go on to YouTube, hit the subscribe button, like, and obviously share this around. We want to get as many people in here as possible. Now, if you weren't involved in the Road to Glory uh, stream we did, we did 179 people at once during the last nice. RTG card. It was astounding. Uh, so if you please share it around, I want to beat that. If we can get to 200 people in the stream at one point, <laughs> I would literally just fall on the floor and just absolute and amazement. And poop your pants. <laughs> and poop my pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Well, I'm going to start off by talking and actually ask a couple of questions that a few people we've opened it up and we've got a couple of people already who want to ask you a few questions. Biggie. Okay, shoot away. Um, given we have the greatest night of the year, or the most wonderful night of the year, um, WrestleMania, which is tonight, or in a couple of hours, actually, I think, the pre-show starts in 35 minutes. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd start, first of all, on WrestleMania, wrestling in general. And the first question we've got is from Fizzy1. Um, his actual name on on the Twitter is Fizzy underscore underscore one. And he's asking okay. it to actually both of us. So the first question is, how did you become a fan of wrestling? Wow. All right. Well, I remember... See, I'm older than most people, if you don't know this. Yep. Uh, I am 41. So I saw all of the 80s stuff where Saturday night's main event. Um, and then there was the, the morning on Saturdays. And it was just... Uh, when it wasn't even, there wasn't even Raw yet. And I, oh, everybody was into wrestling in the 80s. I mean, it was just a really cool thing. Hulk Hogan, Roddy Roddy Piper, Macho Man. That was, that was pretty cool. And then during college and stuff, I, I didn't watch it at all. And then you had the Attitude Era when I first uh, was teaching. Um, I was teaching in a small school and all the kids were into this. And this was when, you know, Rock and Stone Cold and everybody was, uh, you know, 97, 99, 2000, it just got huge. And then uh, it was everywhere. And then, uh, you know, I got married. I didn't watch wrestling for a while. And then uh, I started, you know, I went to my buddy's bar. who was actually, he wasn't even my buddy at the time. Uh, it just happened to be a night where I didn't have school the next day. So it's like, you know, I'm going to have a beer. And uh, they had wrestling on. And I was like, oh, wow, you guys watch wrestling. And uh, so around 2009, 2010, I got into it again and, you know, cause he, he really has a wrestling bar and it was, you know, three hours down from my apartment at the time. So it was really, really easy. So, uh, that's how, that's, uh, that's how I got into it, you know? And, uh, he goes to a lot of the, the independent shows around here nice. and, uh, you know, it was just a really awesome scene. And, uh, because of going to these independent shows, I've met people like, you know, Brody Lee was uh, Luke Harper now. Nice. Um, a bunch of people, you know, uh, and I there's a picture of me on Facebook with uh, Kevin Owens, 
and uh, my buddy and their two kids. So it's just, uh, you know, I've met so many people that are down to earth, normal people that are just, now they're like huge and the best thing in the business, you know? So it's, it's, it's not something that I'm going to run away from. I, I love wrestling. I love independent shows. I love, uh, basically all of it, you know? Cool. So that, yeah. <laughs> Edward, oh my God, he's always taking a dump. He is, he is. Uh, oh wait, he's not taking a dump though. My bad, I read no, it no, wrong. No, no, no. What he by saying that he means he is taking a dump. <laughs> uh, it's like he says in the middle of the the RTG stream we did. Yeah, I'm not taking a piss, and all you hear is just trickling. <laughs> <laughs> Edward's awesome, man. I love that guy. <laughs> um. Okay, and who is and or was your favorite wrestler? Of all time. Uh, growing up, I loved the Dynamite Kid because uh, he was one of the two British Bulldogs. And uh, he could do a suplex like, it, he did the fastest suplex I ever saw. I was like, that guy's so cool. And of course, everybody loved Hogan. We did not like Volkov. Um, and we loved, we liked Andre the Giant because it was huge. Um, and right now, it, as I say in my other stuff, uh, it changes every now and then. It was Seth Rollins for a while. But I gotta tell you, I freaking love Brock Lesnar right now because he he came he's he's sticking around and it's just ridiculous. So uh, you know, and and I don't think he's gonna win tonight <laughs> now, this even though sucks. everybody thinks he's gonna win now because he's like he's back for good for you know. But surely that would just set up for a much better, um, I don't know, a much better match down the line, maybe where he does take Reigns apart. Kind of like you've yeah. seen it. That'd be cool. Cool. Um, okay, well, I, he's asked me to answer you as well, so I'll say, when did I first become a fan of wrestling? During the Attitude Era um, in the UK, it, it wasn't really big. We had the big wrestling boom in the 80s and then and the early 90s with Hulk Hogan, WCW, and it basically it, it was... We had a really, really, really um, low time in wrestling in the UK, and it was only available on terrestrial TV, which is basically, if you in the US you've got cable companies and you've got all the different types of people, but you've not got the um, it's the same the same kind of thing in the UK. You've got two or three providers, and then just that's it. But there was this thing called terrestrial TV, which was just basically five channels. Right. And if you didn't have Sky, which was basically like uh, a satellite provider in the US or a cable provider in the US, you couldn't watch wrestling and the only wrestling that was available was WCW and I quite frankly thought that sucked. It just meant my personal opinion. Um, but I watched this one episode of Raw where um, Stone Cold threw the rock into a lake Yeah, <laughs> and I just went, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> I've never watched this before and I was like, wow, okay. In, in which case... I like it, and I started watching it on and off, and then yeah, I watched the first rest. The first WrestleMania I watched was uh, WrestleMania 2000. And okay. From then on, I've just not stopped, and um, and it's been awesome ever since. And I have been to a couple of shows. I was lucky enough to go to the uh, the event in the UK in 2006, I think it was, when uh, Shawn Michaels and John Cena had that hour long match on Raw. Oh wow! I was so lucky um, to go to that the, that event. Uh, other than that, I've not been to any other events. But I am going to see SmackDown in a couple of weeks when it comes over to the UK, which I'm I'm looking forward to seeing the new guys. Right. So yeah, um, favorite wrestler. Um, oh, I can't. I don't know if I can say this without being controversial. Is is going to be before he did what he did. Oh, it Benoit. was Benoit, yeah, um, because he was one of the people, that, especially during the ECW WCW angle, just stood out for me. Especially that cage match of Kurt Angle. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, he's he's the, probably the best technical wrestler uh, in a long, long time. Yeah. Um, the favorite wrestler now, though, I'm just gonna say now, CM Punk. I, I still like him. He's not ever coming back, though. People no. guys just, just let it go. <laughs> let it go. Like, like like Elsa. Let it go. Let it go. See, I'm funky coming back no more. <laughs> you know, oh, awesome. Something like that. <laughs> awesome. 
Um, okay, uh, thanks for that. Uh, pyro, no that that's going to be used in so many streams in the future. <laughs> <laughs> um, pyro uh, College has uh, said, oh, uh, what's your favorite match of all time? Favorite match of all time? Uh, wow, that's really hard to, to just come down with. Um, I remember as a kid when uh, Hulk broke his ribs. That was pretty incredible when King Kong Bunny with a splash. And so he lost the belt. Um, other matches, stuff that I saw, uh, probably Undertaker, Mankind, Hell in a Cell. That was just ridiculous. And um, what else? Montreal Screwjob was pretty great, too. <laughs> But not, I mean, that was something I saw well afterwards. Yeah. So those are those are way up there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Um, okay. And Xbox fan 1987 has said, what do you think will be the biggest pop or boo of WrestleMania? Biggest pop or boo? Um, I think Reigns gets the biggest boo. Okay. Uh, because of, of people. <laughs> Uh, well, I think if Reigns wins the championship, he will get booed. Uh -huh. um, I think the biggest pop could be Lesnar. Um, it could be Reigns not winning the championship. Uh, could be the Undertaker will probably get the biggest pop because this is probably going to be his last match. Uh -huh. um, because Sting's already said that this is probably going to be his last match. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, you know, you might get some good Mizdow pops. Some good Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler types. But, uh, you know, I don't I don't really see... Well, and then, you know, the kids will love Cena. But I really honestly think it'll be the main... I'm really excited about this WrestleMania ever since Brock resigned. You know? I did not care until he came back, for sure. That's... Hiteo, yeah, Hiteo Hitami, like in the, uh, the Battle Royale, could be... A, really huge deal because he's one of the new guys good job edward forgot about him <laughs> that is awesome especially i mean there was a lot of talk that they were going to put finn balor on the show and everything else and now it's him it i think it, edward's got a shout there yeah I'd say it's got to be between brock and him nice it's just got an epic yeah. call that's a, that's, that's the second bobby heenan i've pulled today that's just uh that's crazy <laughs> i don't want bobby heenan i want uh, uh wrestlemania cards <laughs> oh wow yeah, how I'm many WrestleMania cards do you have? Uh, I now have seven. Holy butt! <laughs> yeah, I'll show them in a second on the on the stream. But I've yeah, got, that's pretty awesome. I've, I'll show them on the stream and then we can talk about them. Then. Um, Wait, does that count the three from the Road to Glory though? Um, no, there's two from Road to Glory. Okay, so five regular ones. Yes. Holy crap! Um, that's nice. Arian WWE guy has said, thanks for his question, the top five most underrated and most overrated wrestlers of all time. I might just count that down to three, purely for time reasons. So the top three most underrated and most overrated wrestlers of underrated? all time. Underrated? Well, uh, probably... Well, Dolph Ziggler is still underrated, man. They How many times can... The, is, and Daniel Bryan, they, uh, they're just going to bury those guys forever because they got hurt. And Fandango, I think. Fandango was a heck of a wrestler. And I was at WrestleMania 29 uh, two years ago oh, awesome. in New York. And uh, the, the Raw after that was probably the best Raw ever. That's where Dolph won his first championship. And uh, um, that's when the Fandango thing happened. <laughs> and uh, at, people were just going nuts for this guy. And he was so he was so hot on, on not like physically, because I like wingmen. <laughs> But uh, he was. It was so. Everything he did was awesome, and now he's he's not even a mid Carter, and he won't be. You know what I mean? And uh, so it's like, and it's all because they got hurt. You know, like uh, what's his face? Fandango got a concussion. Dolph Ziggler got a concussion, and they don't like to really make those people that have gotten hurt the big guys. So they're they're gonna bury them forever. Bury them worse than. Uh, then, then John Cena buries anybody he wants. <laughs> um, third one, or should we move on to the most overrated? Overrated, yeah. <laughs> freaking Cena. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
You know, I love how people are like complaining and complaining all about this Roman Reigns stuff. It's like, dude, last year you wanted him to win re the M WrestleMania main event. And this year, you know, whatever. They're, people are fickle. <laughs> and, uh, you just got to come you know, out range he's actually that. got more than five moves. <laughs> I think he's got six or seven. <laughs> that's like amazing. So but, that's you know, improvement. I, I totally respect John Cena, though. Um, he's done so much for the business. I mean, and it's it's really cool that he's re that he's not causing like he knows that he's not the future of this company and business. He's been the man for ten years, and now it's time for other people to step up. You know, uh -huh. but uh, it'll be interesting. Another one. Yeah. So. Oh, another uh, overrated yeah. person. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, John Cena and John Cena are still. <laughs> But John Cena or Super Cena? Uh, all all the variations of John Cena. <laughs> Except John Cena evolved. He's super awesome. What about the old version of John Cena? That was actually awesome. What, Thugonomics? Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't watching at that time, but I've seen enough. Like, Ruthless Aggression Era. Yes. They, he's awesome then. But, uh, you know, as time, as time goes on, people in, uh, you know, eras change. Hulk Hogan changed. Maybe yeah. it's time for, for John Cena to change. Cena needs to be a heel for a while. Then people will love the crap out of him. But you know what? He's still selling all those t-shirts. He's still doing all of those uh, Make-A-Wish foundations. You know, and uh, once maybe he becomes like, you know, third or fourth or, you know, dare I say fifth in t-shirt sales. Uh, you know, maybe then they'll be like, hmm, maybe it's time we do that heel turn. that we were going to plan like, you know, eight years ago that just never happened. Well, you could say that, but not to bring CM Punk into conversation. He did beat John Cena. I think Brian actually did when he, the Yes movement was really picking up last year. Did overtake him in the actual merchandise sales. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, but I mean, like for a prolonged period of time. Yeah. Well, I'll just say that Reigns did it because because yeah. Reigns is obviously because yeah, be Reigns is fuck because he's shoving Reigns down our throats, man. <laughs> I was I was the entire IWC right there. <laughs> Awesome. Um, Suffering succotash. Who even says that anymore? <laughs> this is so BS, man. I, I just love I just loved it when I was watching the Royal Rumble. And I actually sat there. I was sitting with, with a couple of friends who I'm actually watching WrestleMania with tomorrow. And I just... I literally was just thinking to myself, what the... Why are they, are they booing him? Yeah. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Surely, you know, you've been crying out for a person to be as big as John Cena, to be right. a new person. And then you get a new guy. It's not Daniel Bryan because they've obviously got other plans to Daniel Bryan. And you just crap all over him. Right? <laughs> it's like, like, here you go. Is <laughs> <laughs> this, and that's why I say people are fickle because they are fickle. You know, know. what would be the most strangest thing tonight is if he actually got a uh, a pop when he came out. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't see it happening. No, nope. I really I can, don't. I can see a seen a reaction from back when he faced Triple H. God, that was loud. Yeah. <laughs> um, especially when he tap when Triple H tapped out. <laughs> yeah. So everyone was just sitting there going, "That's not how it's supposed to happen." So like, what? <laughs> Um, okay, so which WrestleMania has been your favorite up until now? And that comes from uh, Canon 360. 29 because I was at it. Yep. No, you know, I can agree that was my that. favorite. It's the last Undertaker win so far. Right. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, I was there. I was at MetLife Stadium. It was awesome. Cool. KMK, what up, buddy? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, hi to the stream people. I'm not. Uh, I'm not interacting with you today, but I love you a long time. <laughs> love you a long time. Yeah, or long time. Um, okay. Two long times. So, WWE Supercard. Obviously, yes. it's a game that you have... Um, well, I've not seen any of your stuff before Supercard. Now you do stuff outside it, and maybe you can enlighten us all as to exactly what you do outside of it, other than Clash of Clans and um, Happy Wars. Yeah. Um, I have played this game, Supercard. I, it is fun. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Um, oh, but uh, <laughs> I'm not playing it now at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, that's that guy's big name. His name is Big Ed. That's pretty cool. 
That's what most people think the E stands for, by the way. Really? Um, well, anyway, like I have done YouTube since 2007. Nice. And basically, I, I used to make – everything I did was like uh, funny songs or improvised songs. Like I just make up songs because that's something I'm very, very gifted at. Like uh, I, I know how music kind of works, putting it together. I get a little thing in my head, then I just – and, you know, hey, make make up a song about anything. So I was then, all right, give me a topic, bam, then bam, I go. And that's really what my channel really was for a long time. Um, I did some vlogs. I did reviews on, like, uh, TV shows like Heroes because I was – Heroes and Lost I was very much into when they were on. And, um, well, then I, like – you know, I – around last year, before this time – I just saw like how everything was going towards watch time, um, like the amount of minutes that people watch you, and then the channels that got more watch time uh, got more promotion, and it was gaming channels. And so what I wanted to do, gaming channels and like top five, top ten videos were getting just everybody that did them were all over my you know recommended videos and all that sort of stuff. So then I decided you know I should start playing games because. That's uh, these videos are super long. They're not hard to edit, and I'm just lazy and I hate editing. And so then, uh, you know, games. I had been making. I made my first game thing. I got the computer, the new computer I got um, about last year, almost a year ago. And then I put up a, a a game of me playing Rampage, some app things from my phone from this app called Camcord for your iDevice. And uh, it was really cool. So, and then, you know, I made a couple of things here and there, and really, I hadn't, I hadn't found the right game. I didn't want to play anything that I didn't love or I didn't want to do. And then, basically, Supercar comes around, and I started playing the day after it came out on uh, August fifteenth, and uh, I was about the the nineteenth or twentieth where I decided, hey, I'm going to look to see what people have got, got online with this. And there was just some kids that I was not impressed with the quality. Um, I saw Desert Eagle and Blackjack 21. Yeah, I've seen this. Um, those were the two guys that it started right away. And um, I just said, you know, I could make videos of this because I love this game. And nobody is really at – I was at Ultra Rare at the time. And nobody's, like, really an ultra rare or above, so at least by just playing it. Um, so I said, I'm just going to do this. And, you know, I got, I got the, you know, then the rest is as, as you are, as you know, history, really. Yeah. It got more popular and et cetera, et cetera. And then other people, you know, I, because I'm open about, you know, there's a lot of gamers that don't share how they record stuff. Or they they just they think that they have to have a game uh, like a code of secrecy, but like, <laughs> dude, if people want to know what I'm gonna re I record with, I just here's what it is. You know, if you want to make videos on this, rock on. But you know, it's not any competition to me. Yeah, that's that's the point. If if you I've I've learned from the short time I've been doing this that if you are nice to people, they are nice back. Yeah, it's um, been amazing for you know for me anyway. A community. This, the community in this game is just incredible. Yeah. The, the forums, the the people who are constantly on, who come on the stream. You know, I would never have dreamed when I first started this I'd have nearly 200 people watching, and that's purely just because I, I am who I am. And yeah, exactly. And on that point, actually, someone actually did ask a question about that, and um, give me two seconds just to find it. Sure, no problem, um, dude. Uh... So, let me move on to another question for the time being. We'll talk about the Supercard. Okay. Okay. Um, Supercard. With that, in, with that in mind, Frank Tech asked me a question the other day and said, when you're speaking to Biggie, and first of all, someone actually did ask me to say hi to you in in uh, the chat. Two hi. Second. Ryan Prushik 10. Hi, Ryan Prushik 10. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Um, Frank Tech. I asked, um, what do you think will be your first WrestleMania pro outside of Brett? Oh, God. Well, I, I'm hoping it's either John Cena or Sheamus right now because I've got one of those other ones. Um, it, it, these WrestleMania cards are hard to get. Uh, let's be honest with each other. 
I I want to know like I mean 500 to 550 resets on just grinding alone or something like that. It's just ridiculous. And uh, the way to get them in the King of the Rings, I I mean, I just finished 20 and 25 in a King of the Ring. Wow. And uh, it's it, it's ridiculous. And the top person, this isn't a WrestleMania one, they, they had eight or nine losses. So there's no, like, thing, no, no blow, blowouts. Like, if I had a uh, Survivor Pro card, I would be very competitive. But I have none. So, uh, uh, Survivor Fusion Pro, my, I'm sorry. Just yeah. stuff like that. But you're close to getting them. You've got quite a few Survivor Fusions, haven't you? I have three Survivor Fusions, and none of them are the same. <laughs> it's only a matter of time but there's people with one or two already yeah I got like three days left or two days left or something you gotta feel for autographs uh, this is just this is the biggest bad luck story you, you, I say constantly that I've had a uh, bad luck with the Nicky Bellas if you can say it's bad luck yeah um, he has had four Blassies oh god that's sad <laughs> That's really sad. I mean, it's great, but um, it's not great. <laughs> I mean, it's it's great because you got the two for Road to Glory or whatever. But and and think about it. You, now you have two for WrestleMania fusions when they do happen, because I'll tell you, people aren't going to want to give up those Survivor fusions very easily. No, um, because well, you always will probably train them, and uh, you know that's that's a. Uh, it's going to be interesting, actually. It probably won't happen till like, June or something. Yeah, it's going to take a while because those cards are going to be OP as hell. Oh, yeah. They'll probably max out at, I would say, uh, 4,800. Maybe. Maybe 4,700. Somewhere in there. It's going to be, be better than Brett, obviously. Okay. Well, yeah. but I, have you seen the stats for them? For what? Fusions. Uh, the only, no, I mean, for WrestleManias? Yeah. Uh, no, the only fusion card that we've seen is in the, the commercial with Brock Lesnar doing, what, son, what, <laughs> the card. I mean, uh, of course they haven't shown anything. Yeah, uh, that's a, that brings me to another great question that I just yeah. want to say. Yes. Um, I know nothing outside of what everybody else knows. Okay. Um, People think that because I make these videos and, you know, they're pretty popular and stuff that I am good with Cat Daddy or whatever. Um, no. <laughs> I'm just a dude like you guys making videos and uh, I have no information. That's why when somebody tells me something I find interesting, um, I want to see where they saw it. I don't believe anybody that just says, oh, well, this happened, blah, blah, blah. I go, yeah, where's the proof? I need the proof or else, you know, it's not real. Okay. Like the getting... Getting PCC rewards from the WrestleMania main event packs or whatever, um, which you can't get. No. Well, that that reminds me of a couple of people like Mokai Jonathan, who are constantly just accused of being bots. and. Stuff. Oh, yeah. And then you get questions like, do you work for Cat Daddy? Are you actually Danon? Are you actually a human being? <laughs> did they did they make this, uh, this code thing to break you? <laughs> Because you're the, the authentication code. <laughs> <laughs> there, you're actually sitting there authorizing every single person's account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I want to pick on this person. Authenticate yourself. Yeah. I just had that pop up actually in game. Just as we were talking about Yeah, I just saw it actually. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, they, they have released some of the, the pictures of Hogan, Stone Cold, and The Rock. And their unproed versions alone are just over 3,000. Where did you see those? Um, there was. I, I. I. Don't ask me where I saw them because I saw a picture on the forums. Okay, but they. Okay. There was a pre-release thing that came out, and one of the screenshots had a person's deck, which had. Uh, I think it was um, WrestleMania Cena Pro, and a Diva Pro, or a, a Nikki Bella or something like that, and then three of the, um, the WrestleMania fusions on. And they, their stats were all over 3,000, just over 3,000 maxed. It's pretty good. So, that yeah, that's probably... Uh, they'll probably be then about 5,000 then, I would assume. Because uh, it's not going to be... You're not going to have, like, the difference... The distance between, like, Survivor and uh, 
like uh, Road to Glory Survivor, you're never going to see those di uh, distance and stats again because of, you know, y y doubling and doubling. Because what was happening in King of the Rings, you know, people like not playing for a few hours and not losing any games yep. because they all had like these Road to Glory type things and they were so much more powerful than the the regular version Pro. At least that's my opinion. I could be wrong. Well, I, I can't imagine that I'll be starting to to get the, those cards out in the open for a while because of how just incredibly powerful they are. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, next question comes from Uppercuts Jamal, who said, "What got you into Supercard? I think you may, you've actually already answered this briefly, haven't you? Because of the previous YouTube videos in terms of recording it." Yeah, I liked, I loved the game, and I said, I looked at, saw what was out there, and I said, oh, I could do this. This would be, this could be cool. And uh, it was a very good decision, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, that actually moves on to a question from Adnan, um, who actually Ooh. sent me a question uh, two days ago saying, how many awesome. subs did you have before? He is an awesome guy. He, I'm, I'm just going to shout his channel out now because he... Um, he yeah, doesn't buddy. make much. Yeah, buddy. Um, he doesn't make many videos, but when he does, and the stream he had, it, it's awesome. So yeah, uh, follow follow the hell out of him. Um, Adnan said, "How many subs did you have before you started playing Supercard?" Ooh, great question. Um, I had about ten thousand five hundred when I started Supercard videos. And that was basically the end of August. August 21st is the first video. So in seven months, mostly, I mean, it's all because of the game, pretty much. Uh, like, yeah, 33, Biggie Dude, 33,000 more subs, something like that. So That's it's tight, ridiculous. Man. It's been it's been so awesome. And, uh, you know, and it's, it's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, buddy. Awesome. And would you say that that has been the sole reason why you've been as successful as you have been? Um, sole reason of you being success again to the level you have got to subscriber wise. Oh, now say... yeah. Like you know, I had um, what was it? I had like I said, <coughs> ten and a half thousand before. I mean, it took like oh my god, like almost seven years. I've been making videos. It took that long to get to that point, and then. You know, before, like, my 25,000 stream was on 12, 13, 14. So in three months, I had doubled and a half the amount of subscribers that I'd had in just the seven years before. So um, it really has taken off, and uh, it's just kind of neat. So, but, yeah, I, I owe, like, everything to this game, um, technically. I Well, you know what? I don't. I owe everything to the people that like wrestling and like playing this game. Because when it comes down to it, it's a simple game with there is some you know some strategy involved, but the fact that people keep watching is just awesome because it's like, dude, I've been doing two hundred and what eight nine episodes now. That's a lot, you know. I don't even know if I'd done yeah I had I had two hundred nine episodes of you know before, but you know doing a doing an episode a day and just keeping on doing it pretty much, except for taking some Sundays off. It's just really, really, uh, really cool. And I'm, and I'm honored and flattered and I think it's great that we all are having fun together. So yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Uh, we just hit over a hundred just earlier, by the way. Woohoo! So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Thanks for everyone for, joining in if you like what you see please retweet let's get as many people on the stream as we can yeah um, kill moose kill has actually sent me a very very good question he actually said would you ever consider going for a pcc pro card ever no well actually you know what maybe and i'll tell you why um uh, i don't know the both uh for anybody that's been playing Rivals Clash this week in Miami A2K15. The reward system has changed. And I believe the top 25 to 125 or something get the, the times two pro or of the of the star, the, the MVP or whatever card. The heck, I don't know what they call The Rivals Clash card, yeah. So if they change it for for WWE, possibly. But you know what? I'm honest, being honest with you, I'm I'm 41 years old, playing a game 16 to 20 hours a day. 
is not um no i i don't think it'll ever happen honestly yeah but that's a great question i physically couldn't do it i physically but, couldn't you know. do it myself and uh, i i i'm not i mean i realized when i tried sort of once and i i really ended up um at uh only getting a uh, legendary aj times two but uh, i mean it really comes down to it would only be at a time like this coming up one would be one I could do because it's uh, I'm on vacation. But, man, I, I do so many other things with my life. You know, playing one game for 16 hours in a row uh, in a day, because that's basically what you need. Or, or just going ape crap out of it the first two days like the top five usually do. I just don't see me doing, honestly. Well, that's a I've great question. I've had quoted, by the way, from Adam before. He usually gets four hours sleep per day. Other than that, he's just playing super cards constantly when he's getting his PCC cards. Yeah, like I just don't want. To, I like sleeping. Sleeping <laughs> is good. Sleeping is very good. I like sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> um, he has also given me another question. Um, okay. Just related to that question we said about PCCs. If you went for one, if they if they did change the reward system and they gave you one. Of these cards and you said yeah. that's the card i'm going to go for what would it be oh gosh uh well i would say something that's a wrestlemania card i mean punk but that's never going to happen uh -huh. um the bret hart was cool like what other really wrestlemania thing um there's really not going to be any one card that makes me really try to get it like in a people's champion, because because I just know how. I mean, if there if it would have been one, it would have been WrestleMania Undertaker, and uh, that's just uh, that didn't happen, obviously. And you know, it's it's all got to be timing. There's not really a card that I would mark out for. Maybe uh, maybe Kevin Owens, maybe uh, maybe Bur I mean uh, Luke Harper, maybe somebody that I've met in person, uh -huh. which uh, there's been a bunch so. You know, but uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Um, and will will Mister Bacon ever meet Miss Piggy? Um, well, depends. 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 Depends on uh, what if you know what if Mister Bacon was Miss Piggy? Dun dun dun. <laughs> Think about it. Did I just blow everybody's mind? You know, this is, some you kind of, this is some kind of inception shit going on here. Yeah, we gotta go deeper. <laughs> Alternate universes. <laughs> yeah. You know, I guess it would have to it would have to be Edward would know because he 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 likes Mr. Froggy of uh, that and uh you know, maybe you like Kermit would know if that was Miss Piggy. <laughs> you get smelling on him. <laughs> uh Paul Jinx. Um, as said, that dude's awesome. Um, he he's awesome. He's in he's in the stream. He's actually wielding the band hammer oh, hey. a couple of times. The hammer of the band. Yes. Um, if Supercard died, if it died, what yes. game would you replace it with? If you would replace it with any game? Well, the thing is, like the the cool thing about doing games <clears throat> is that there's always going to be something else that comes out. Uh -huh. You know, like Immortals was really. I really wasn't expecting much from it, and I, I pulled some okay numbers. Um, but, uh, you know, like, I, hell, heck, I made 150 things on Clash of Clans, and I, I could do it with anything, really. Yeah. And it's just, uh, it would the, the real recipe of doing it is finding a new game that you're really into, and then just make an episode every day for, you know, three months. <laughs> And then just, you know, see what happens from there. Sweet. Like, horror games are not going to ever be my thing. Because here's the thing. Um, horror things don't really scare me. You know you know how some people are like, oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. I was like, dude, I know it's a game. I may go, ah, Freddy got me again. Oh, no. Or they, whatever those people are. <laughs> um, you know, it's like, oh, my God. I'm so scared. But, uh, yeah. Like, you know, there's games. There's going to be new games, old games. This, it's a lot of fun. What I need to do is get do more songs and stuff because I've been lazy on that part. Uh, well, 
I'm sure the fan base would listen to them. I mean, have you? You should. You should release more because I've never actually heard, other than your intro, anything you've actually sung. Yeah. Well, I have to. I have the credit to make a, a second album. I have an album on iTunes, um, but Sweet. it was like from the end of 2010. Yeah. And uh, you know, I've just been lazy on stuff, so I just. Uh, Damn revelations coming out here. I think he did some kind of huge music artist. Well, you know, I, I am a music teacher. I've uh, This is my 18th year as a junior high music teacher. 18 and, years. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's been a long time, really. So um, i tell you, balancing the, the, the gaming stuff, because it's not just making the videos. It's You got to play it while you're not doing it, too. So there's it's a lot of balance between, you know, schoolwork and this stuff and, you know, just hanging out with my friends. My friend just called me because he's like, well, we're, he's probably going to tell me where they're watching WrestleMania. Like it's either going to be in the bar or upstairs where they live in their apartment. But, um, I, I was here, so I didn't answer him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, uh, buddy. <laughs> uh, Callum 360 has asked us both a question. Ooh. And this, this one is kind of be going to be an obvious answer, I think, which okay. is, if there was a trading system in Supercard, which it's highly likely there is never going to be, so just right. throw out that right now, would you? Would we trade with each other? Which I would say, obviously, yes. I would well, yeah. love to have your reigns because I still don't have one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then you, we could get ridiculous stuff. Like, I would think that the people that have one reigns would want it a lot, so they would give up something maybe a little ridiculous for it. So, you know, that would be... See, I, I, I know how to trade cards and stuff because, you know, I used to play Magic the Gathering a lot. And uh, that was, uh, you know, I knew how to do the best in trades or, or know people that were looking for something. So I would get it and at, at one price and then, you know, trade it away at another or, you know, equivalency. And I would, you know, I would make pretty good, you know, stuff with that. It was kind of nice. Um, yeah. yeah, I would. I would trade with. I would trade game. with anybody, dude. Because people, <laughs> you know what? Because some people would want to give me like crazy stuff for not much, just because they're trading with me, which um, yeah. is ridiculously awesome, and uh, kind of you know makes me just laugh. Not in a, <laughs> an honor way. It's like uh, like young Gary Oak. He's been a friend of mine for six years. Um, he he'll sell stuff on the, the auction house in uh, NBA 2K15, and I see other people that um, that make the videos that are Twitter people, and um, they they've got it they've got that system down, man. It's like, hey, buy this for me, and uh, I'll shout you out. Or they don't actually say that, but they shout out people anyway. So that's pretty it's pretty good racket. <laughs> Sweet. Um, the. In all fairness, it happened. I I have seen that happen a lot on FIFA in the past, where yeah, you get really really popular YouTube guys who've got like hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of subscribers, and they'll put something up on the market, and within like seconds, someone's tracked it and just gone bang. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's the the FIFA guy? Uh, the KS, KSI. W2, KSI W two S is that? That's one, right? There's KSI's one. He's a British guy. Yeah. Uh, he's he's really spreading out to that other stuff now, though. He's he's got got like a music career started and stuff like that as well. Right, right. Um, and you got uh, W2S Rotisure as well. Who probably yeah, like, yeah. they're the ones I enjoy the most, uh, other than my HD gamer, who's another one. Um, they do a lot of FIFA stuff, and he does some Madden stuff actually. Uh, right, my HD gamer, which is quite interesting to watch, because I'm not a big American football fan, but I've, I I like the look of that game. It's a shame it's well, not yeah. as big over in the UK. Like I was like I played it once, um, not in the Madden, but I played the FIFA once, and uh, it was all right. It didn't record very well because it's such a huge app, <laughs> um, and um, it was it, it was all right, you know. But uh, I could see why people would get really into it. I just. Uh...